Hello everyone, it's Stephen from HopHog Computer Works here. Today I'd like to talk with you about something new that we've added to HopHog Capture called FaceCam. So what is FaceCam? Well, FaceCam is a new feature that we've added to HopHog Capture, which allows you to add your webcam video into your recordings. Before we delve into more details on FaceCam, I'd like to make sure that you're all aware of an important requirement. FaceCam uses your CPU to render the video from your webcam into recordings. Therefore, this can heavily tax your CPU, and it's recommended that your system meet the following system requirements before moving forward. If your system does not meet the system requirements, you may still try FaceCam, but you will need to monitor your CPU usage and stay in low resource mode. So now that we've covered that, what do you need to get started? First, you'll need a webcam. You can use a USB webcam or an integrated webcam, usually found on laptops or all-in-one PCs. You'll also want to make sure that you've installed all of the drivers for your webcam into the PC that you're using HopHog Capture on. Once you've done that, open up HopHog Capture and go to the Settings tab. Once you're there, go into the Webcam Settings box located here and click the drop-down menu. You'll find your webcam listed here. I'm going to select my Microsoft webcam and up pops a minimum system requirements message. Make sure you read all of this before carrying on. Click Yes and HopHog Capture will restart your HD PVR and start the FaceCam encoder. So now that we've enabled FaceCam, let's go into the Capture tab to see what it looks like. There I am. But you'll also notice we don't have a microphone selected, so let's go ahead and click the drop-down menu and select our microphone. So now that we've selected a microphone, you'll notice that I'm currently at iframe only and I'm currently scaled down to 720p. So why is that? Well, let's go back to the Settings tab and I'll explain. When you enable FaceCam, the software is automatically put into low resource mode. When in low resource mode, the video is automatically downscaled to 720p. This is to allow slower computers to run FaceCam. If you have a faster computer, you can try disabling low resource mode by clicking the checkbox. Once you've done this though, I would recommend monitoring your CPU. To do this, go into your task manager and select the performance tab. Here you'll find a monitor for your CPU. If you ever see this line rise above 80%, I would recommend switching back to low resource mode. So now that we've covered monitoring your CPU, let's exit this window and go back to the webcam settings. One of my favorite parts about FaceCam is your ability to resize and position your window wherever you like. You can click and drag the lower right hand corner to resize it and you can reposition it anywhere you click and drag. So now that I have it positioned there, let's go back to the Capture tab, and there I am. So let's go back to the Settings tab for just a moment and cover Simulation. The preview window here simulates a specific resolution. Currently we're simulating 1920 by 1080. I can simulate any resolution that I choose, uh, let's say 720p. Now you'll see that the webcam frame has resized itself to be larger. So as an example, let's say I want to record at 1080p. I'll simulate 1080p in this window here and make sure that my webcam is resized appropriately. I'll also position it right here. And then I click Capture and there I am. So I hope this video was helpful in explaining the finer points of FaceCam, our new feature in HotPod Capture. But if you have any questions for us, you're welcome to visit us on Facebook, or drop us a line on Twitter, or send us an email. We'll be happy to help you. And I think I'll wrap up this video with a clip of my own that I recorded earlier using FaceCam. Thank you for watching. And then, uh, so I'll go over to Contacts, go to the Coriolis Starport, request docking. It'll give me a docking pad that you can see over the HUD there. So I'm going to go to pad 29. And let's 
try and line up with the station. It's rotating, so we want to make sure that we're getting in here okay. It looks like this is the side to go in on. There's a ship. 29. There it is. Alright. I can't help but twist my head sometimes in this game. Especially once you enter these cylindrical uh, stations. Alright, I'm going to lower my landing gear. Start to inch down on the lower thrusters. And... Come in for a nice smooth landing. There we go.